hey, if you want to see how I'm catching 900 gallons of water off of uh, just this greenhouse and the solar system here for every inch of rain, why don't you tune into this video and I'll show you. All right, guys, so I'm going to walk you over here and I'm going to show you one of my rainwater catchment systems and how I set this up on uh, on the homestead. And this will be, this is one of uh, three that we've got here. So this will give you a brief overview. Um, this is one of the simpler ones as it doesn't go to any pumps per se. So we've got, the greenhouse is about 20 by 20 here, okay? And we ran the six inch gutter all along there. Okay. And I had them to only give me one downspout right about, uh, let's see here. I get the camera up right there. Sorry. Trying to do this in the camera is a little different. All right. So I got one downspout, the other end of the greenhouse over here, right there. It's got a cap on it. Okay, so one downspout, six inch, and this greenhouse is about 20 foot long. Then it comes, I've got the adapter up there where I take it from that rectangular to the round four inch sewer and drain. We brought it down here. Okay, got it coming down. We just kind of made it fancy to go around the, the uh, Wayne's coating on the house and brought it down into the ground right there. So when it comes down to the ground, it goes over to this tank. All right, so walk over here. Okay, down here at the base of this pipe, there's a T fitting. So one end is coming from the south side of the greenhouse. All right, right here, right there. And then the other end is coming from the north side of the greenhouse right here. Okay. And we did the same thing there. It's uh, just one side of the, uh, the gutter. As you can tell, it's grand. Yeah, so it just comes along there. Got the adapter on this end. All right. Adapts to the four inch sewer and drain comes down into the ground right there. All right. Then we just buried it and brought it around. Let's see, Trying to do this. Brought that around over to there. Okay, that's where it tees in. But what else I did here is I wanted to collect the rainwater off of my solar panels too. So there is 50 solar panels there, and that measures out another 30 by 30. So we've got about 30 by 30 ish. On the solar panels, that's going to give us a, approximately 900 square feet. And then we've got 20 by 20 on the greenhouse, which is going to be about another 400 square feet. Put them together, call it 1300. Well, with a thousand gallons, or I'm sorry, one inch of rain, a thousand square feet of roof, you're going to capture about 600 gallons of water. So we're a little over that here, you know, at 1300. So uh, or 1,300 square feet, rather. So what we're going to be at about 900 gallons for one inch of rain, so not too shabby. When I did the gutter, or I'm sorry, when I did the solar system, okay, I overhung it on this building. I'm going to bring you over here. So I've got a little bit of an overhang. Sorry, man, I'm trying to get this where it'll do that. I got a little bit of an overhang to come into the gutter here and then that is six inch gutter again with only one downspout and that downspout is cut in right here as you can tell the inlet to this downspout is really close to the inlet to the tank however what i will tell you is it works because it is just low enough all right so here, maybe there's a good uh, good visual. It's not much lower, 
but this is something that was kind of covered in that whiteboard session where I was explaining to you that the hydraulic pressure, it's going to equalize out to the lowest point. So this should be a super good visual for you. Okay, so here's our downspout right there. Okay, we're coming down to the ground. Elbow comes over, then it tees. That's where it's teeing into the north side greenhouse um, downspout. Comes over here and it tees again because, let's see, right there, right there. It is teeing again because it's teeing in the south side and the north side as well as the solar panels all together. Then it comes up and I just did one inlet on this one. This four inch pipe is plenty enough to carry this this load, if you will, of water, even in a torrential downpour. I cannot recall a time where I've been out here and it's been overflowing. So um, I don't know exactly what the carry capacity is on a four inch pipe. I'll have to look that up. But what I can tell you is that it's not been a problem. This is a 3000 gallon tank. It's the only 3000 gallon water tank that we have. And we got that from Elite Tank in Ada. The only reason this is a 3000 is because when I was ready to purchase this tank, it was about uh, middle of the Rona and all of the 2500 gallon ish tanks were out of stock and this was all they could get me it is semi buried when i mean semi buried i mean i don't even know that it's a foot in the ground there at the base and i did that solely as a reason to keep it lower than the solar structure that i've got going on here so uh, i'm not going to go into the whole solar deal this is primarily rainwater video, but um, I wanted to capture what I could off the solar panels, capture off the greenhouse. This water in this tank is used to refill the aquaponic system in the greenhouse, as well as to fill, um, I've got a hydrant over here out in the field, right there, and uh, that's hooked up to a float valve, and we'll use that to, to water some of the livestock. There's no pump put on this one. I'm going to show you this though. Okay. So this is just an irrigation box and with a half inch line coming out of it and an adapter. I did enough room in here that I can add an inline pump if I want. Um, so it won't be a big deal to just splice that and do the threaded ends and do an inline pipe. I did do a shutoff valve just in case we get a leak. This line comes out and it tees as well. One of them goes over to the hydrant in the field. The other one goes to a hydrant that is concreted in place in the greenhouse. And that is only used to um, refill the evaporated water in the aquaponic system. So um, other than that, if we get really low on water in the house, because this is one of the other main catchments on the property, we will drop a submersible pump in here from time to time and transfer water from here to our other tanks. Cover that in another video. Um, it's something that I wanna change in the, over time. I'd like to do that differently, but it should give you a pretty good overview. Okay, we'll step over here and give you a nice finishing touch on the video here. So collecting off the south side and the north side of the 20 by 20 greenhouse, we're collecting off of the south side of the 30 by 30 solar panels and they are going down and over to the tank right there okay so i hope you enjoyed here's a final give you a nice little slow motion um give you a nice little overview of the system what we've got going on there kind of my pride and joy over here at this end that 20 foot container there um uh, right there in the video is uh, the solar system. So that houses all of my batteries and my inverters and, uh, and kind of displaces it from there. The piping here on the back of the greenhouse, that is for the aquaponic system. So pay that, no, never mind. We will cover that in another video um, if there is any interest expressed in that. But all right, guys, well, I hope you found that useful. Maybe just a brief uh, you know, overview of a simple system. I'm going to do a little video on the, uh, here, I'll flip this around. I'm going to do a little video on the rainwater catchment system on the shed, just because it's, it's pretty simple 
like this as well. And then I'll do one that'll cover the um, the overview on the house system. And that's where it's going to get a little bit more in depth. You're going to kind of watch these other videos so you can follow along. I think the video where I use the whiteboard will kind of help make sense of what I'm trying to explain in these videos. And it's, it's hard to show some of this because of it being buried and underground. So, all right, guys, I hope you found that useful. Please, if you can, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, um, share the video with somebody else who's trying to do this off-grid life or semi-off-grid. I mean, I'm still tied into the grid. I got power lines down there at the end. Um, but the water deal didn't work out, and water is a necessity when you're going to live. So I had to figure that out, and so I'm just trying to share that with everybody else and uh, get them on, uh, on another level of uh, self-preparedness and sustainability. So thank you guys very much. We'll catch up with you next time. Mountain Wizard, see ya.